Hi, my name's Isabel Thompson, and this is my three minute thesis on the glass cliff phenomenon. So the glass cliff phenomenon is a direct response to the glass ceiling, where executives claim that there is no limit to corporate female leadership by putting women in CEO positions when the company faces a major PR crisis. This deliberately impedes women's ability to succeed in this position and ultimately leads to their demotion and replacement by a man. Research suggests that many men remain sceptical of women's leadership abilities, leading to the cognitive shortcut of think manager, think male, and in times of poor performance, think female. Ryan et al.'s 2011 study aims to address this gap in the literature that ignores gendered stereotypes in a corporate setting by examining the association between managerial stereotypes and gender stereotypes as a function of company performance. Therefore, demonstrating how normative social influences have enabled and perpetuated this glass cliff phenomenon. Now, this experiment used three separate studies to examine gender and managerial stereotypes in the context of companies that are doing well or badly. The 328 participants were randomly allocated to groups and all confirmed to have prior work experience in a corporate setting. Now, two out of three of these studies indicated that there was a think manager, think male association for successful companies, whereas all three studies demonstrated a strong think female association for unsuccessful companies, with participants reporting that females possessed the desirable traits for a manager taking the blame for organisational failure, which supports the researcher's hypothesis. Now, so what? In a real-world context, these results have demonstrated that there are vast differences in the perceptions of male and female potential for managerial success. Both men and women are likely to ascribe successful companies to masculine traits over feminine ones. However, it is important to note the limitations of this study, in that the Think Manager, Think Male Association is likely to be dependent on a large range of contextual variables that are not investigated here, as well as the fact that this study is based entirely on self-reports and therefore needs to be supplemented by other forms of evidence. Now, the implications of this study lie in the illustration that although women are beginning to break through their glass ceiling, they still have some way to go before the typical manager is not seen in gender terms. In the meantime, recruiters will be conditioned to look for masculine traits over feminine ones in times of success and the opposite in times of poor performance. Organisations will need to try to stop this in order to avoid having dire consequences for female employment and career succession in the future. Thank you.